As president of the Southeast Campus, I am proud and lucky enough to partner with Arlington Independent School District to open the Tarrant County College Southeast Arlington Independent School District Collegiate High School. We don't have many opportunities to not only change an individual's life through education, but to also change a community. And because of this venture, the city of Arlington will be changed forever. I will be starting us off today by introducing some dignitaries as well as TCC leadership that are present. Then I will ask Ms. Hadley, our chancellor, to recognize the board of trustees and for Dr. Cavazzo to recognize his board and any AISD special guests. I would like to first start with some special people that designed and built this building. Mr. Dwight Burns, the senior associate of Perkins and Will, and Mr. Mike Freeman, president of Steele and Freeman, and with all their other people. Please stand up. Thank you. Okay, so you know the drill. Please hold your applause until everybody is introduced. First, I'd like to introduce some people from our district office. Um, our vice chancellor and our legal counsel, Ms. Angela Robinson, and Carol Bracken. You can always give the lawyers an applause. That's, that's, that is one rule, it's like this. We also have somebody that I really want to thank, needs a special recognition, and that is Kirby Chadwell. And he does need an applause. Kirby is instrumental for, the, for this building and how beautiful it is. We also have Ms. Kathleen Durr and Ignacio Polanco, if I said that right. They are here from the district office that work with us. Dr. Peter Jordan, the president of the South Campus. There is Peter, my brother over there. We have Mr. Tim Marshall, vice chancellor for information services and another name to be announced as we go. And we also have with us um, some very important people from our district office. I'm going to have all of them raise. There's a lot of them here. Just raise your hand so we can just give you applause. Suzanne Cottrell and somebody on the back. We also have with us from the community, we have Ms. West Jury. Mr. West Jury from the Chamber of Commerce, very important person for us. And a partner of mine that um, I have so much have enjoyed working with is Dr. Kabari, uh, Dr. Kabari from UC Arlington, the president of UC Arlington. Thank you for being here. As well as Dale Watson. Ms. Amber Danford and Mr. Jim Minge from the Texas Trust. And with that, we want to now, at this time, I have the great pleasure of introducing the leader of our district and the chancellor of Tarrant County College, Ms. Irma Johnson Hadley. It really is a wonderful day in the neighborhood. The neighborhood. The neighborhood. It's a wonderful day in the neighborhood. I sing those two or three little words almost every time I'm at a gathering like this. I can not help it. Because as I stand here and look out today in the faces of those beautiful children in this beautiful neighborhood, Dr. Cavazos, I just have to sing my song. This is a celebration day to the 125th degree. That's the number, 125, of young people we're expecting to start there ninth grade year in this facility, this early college high school. And the reason it's such a wonderful day, Dr. Coppola mentioned that this school is going to not only change the lives of these students, it's also going to change the neighborhood. It's another reason why it's such a wonderful day here. The other reason why it's such a wonderful day is because you are experiencing one of the best partnerships that you will ever witness. This great partnership among, not just between, Tarrant County College and Arlington Independent School District, but among TCC, AISD, City of Arlington, Chambers of Commerce, everybody who has been asked to participate has been willing to step up to the plate 
and do that. And even though Dr. Coppola has thanked so many people here, especially our facilities team, I have to say one more special thank you to our wonderful people on the facilities team and all of the others. There is no way. I think sometimes they thought that I was pushing a little bit hard to think that we were going to be able to open this building today. But I kept pushing and pushing because I know what they're made of, and I knew that they could do it. And not only did they do it, they did it extremely well. Unfortunately, Nina Petty, who is our Vice Chancellor for Facilities, was unable to be with us today, but her team is here. And I want to give them another very special round of applause. You all have done us proud. And you know, you can't build anything today without technology. I mean, if it's worth building at all, it has to be technology savvy. It has to be ready because the students who come here today are not just preparing for today, they are preparing for tomorrow. You don't do that without technology. And our Vice Chancellor for Information Systems, Tim Marshall, was also a major part of the team that helped to make sure that this building was or is what it should be. So Tim Marshall, another very special thank you to you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Sometimes, Dr. Cavazos, as you and I went through our work, and poor Bill Coppola would be in the middle of us, and we always had little things that we had to iron out, I give a very special thanks to our legal team because they were there to make sure that we crossed all the T's and dotted all the I's. And I know you had a legal team that was making sure the same things happen. So Angela Robinson, our Vice Chancellor for Administration and Legal Counsel, and her team also helped tremendously. So thank you, thank you, thank you for what you've done for us. And then finally, I, I cannot sit down without thanking all of the other members of the Chancellor's Executive Leadership Team because even though they are in the background, just as I know many instances, Dr. Cavazos, they are in your place, they all play very important parts when we are trying to do big projects like this. Now, so thank you, CELT members, and one that who didn't get recognized in the back because I know Dr. Fuller didn't see him, but. Reginald Gates is our Vice Chancellor for Communication and External Affairs, and so we want to thank him as well for uh, the role that he played here. Now, I want to get back to, for just a moment to that 125 number that I mentioned earlier, those students were here. I hope everybody understands why we built this school. An early college high school is designed to be a place where students can come and if necessary, be renewed toward their job of learning all that they can learn. The whole concept behind an early college high school is for community colleges and independent school districts to identify students who may not necessarily get on that college pathway without some very specific direction. Dr. Cavazos and I had several conversations about how difficult it was going to be for him and his team to select just 125 students to come here this year. I know that these students are going to be exemplary of the many other hundreds of students who will come later to this institution. Our goal is at the end of four years to graduate every one of those 125 students from Tarrant County College probably a week or two before you actually give them the high school diploma. So we're expecting that students, did you hear what I said? We're expecting you four years from now to walk across the stage at Tarrant County College and get your associate degree and then come back to Arlington ISD week, week two later and get your high school diploma and you will be on your way. That is our goal. And so I thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you parents who are in the audience. Thank you principal who's going to run this wonderful school. 
thanks to all of our wonderful TCC Southeast campus administrators and faculty who have shepherded this project along with Dr. Coppola along the way. And I have to say one thing about Bill Coppola before I do my last duty, and that is Bill Coppola came to this community not really knowing anybody really in the community. And I think today he probably knows everybody. He has done an absolutely outstanding job in connecting with the community. And he works very closely with the ISDs in this area. And we want to give a really big appreciation to Dr. Bill Capola for the great leadership that he's given. <laughs> and finally, the biggest thing for our wonderful Tarrant County College Board of Trustees, without whose leadership and without whose vision and without whose support, this building would not take shape. We thank you, board members, for all the wonderful things you do for the people of Tarrant County. Our board members are elected by single member districts. But if you talk to any one of them, or if you come to any one of our board meetings, you would never know that a board member is representing, quote, a district. They're elected that way, but when they get together, they are one board operating in the best interest of all of the people in Tarrant County. So ladies and gentlemen, I am very pleased to present to you the leader of our board, Mrs. Louise Appleman, and she will introduce her fellow board members. So thank you so very, very much. She's right. I never can remember my district number. <laughs> so, but it is my pleasure to add a word of welcome to Tarrant County College Southeast in Arlington, as we have been schooled to say. And it is my pleasure to introduce you to my fellow board members. It's events like this that make our dreaming and scheming at the board table worthwhile. And it's so nice to see the living results. So first, uh, the Vice President of the Board, Kristen Vandergriff from Arlington. <laughs> <laughs> Secretary O.K. Carter, also from Arlington. <laughs> And from Fort Worth, that city to the west, Dr. Gwen Morrison. And Mr. Bill Greenhill. We all look forward to this partnership and helping our students achieve success. Mrs. Um, Ms. Hadley always talks about, I push you, I push you, I push you. You have competition with Dr. Cavazos. I push you, I push you. He pushes people. And, you know, sometimes I think I work for him. And, this, and, and he's the person that um, I get those 10 o'clock texts. What are we doing? What are we doing? And usually we find out what we're doing at his State of the District address for the first time. But <laughs> when this came on. But the, embracing the idea of the early college high school, one of the things that Dr. Cavazos really did that I always appreciated, he wanted to learn about the early college high school and what it was before we went out and actually did it. And we spent months meeting on a regular basis and showing other models. And that's why the building is set up the way it is, and that's why the program this. So it's my pleasure today to introduce Dr. Cavazos, the Superintendent of Arlington ISD, and my friend. Thank you. Thank you and good afternoon. Thank you for joining us in this very special event uh, today. I'd like to start by introducing our school board, our school board uh, vice president, Ms. Jamie Sullins. <laughs> school board secretary, Dr. Aaron Reich. Assistant Secretary, Mr. John Hibbs. Board Member, Ms. Gloria Peña. Board Member, Mr. Peter Barron. Former Board Member, Mr. Tony Pampa. And so thank you very much for joining us. And today is truly a special day. And it's a special day because we get to celebrate the opening 
of the Arlington Collegiate High School. I know that's not the technical name, Bill, I apologize, but it is the TCC AISD Early College High School. You know what it is because you're here, okay? So it's special because it's the opening of this wonderful facility. And what began as really a concept and a vision and a dream is now a reality. And our board took a huge step when they developed a strategic plan and said we're going to aim not only high, but we're going to aim to exceptional in everything we do. And so as we started processing what an early college high school could do, not for the adults, but for the students and their families, their vision became a reality. The things we talked about, the things that could be possible in Arlington, the things that could be possible in the lives of young people became a reality. And that's where we, why we're here today, to celebrate that reality, the beginning of opportunities for students. And students, the ones that could make it here today, I appreciate not only the courage that you have, the courage that you have, but the dedication that you have to improving your life. Because as I say often, everywhere I go, your present does not have to be your future. And today you get to start, actually Monday, but you're here today, you get to start to prepare yourself for a future that you want, a future that you can impact. Because you're in an opportunity where you can get an associate's degree and a high school diploma upon graduating from high school. And so to this week we had a convocation, seems like a long time ago, but it was actually this week. And Ugo, one of the students, Ugo, where are you? Are you here? Ugo? Yes, he's waving back there. Ugo joined me in uh, kind of an interview with 5,000 of our employees. And we spoke about what this means to him and his family. And he inspired our staff. And so today, we continue that inspiration for our students and our community. The students represent 38 of our 50 elementary schools, all of our junior highs, throughout our community, all over AISD the lives are being impacted, and their families' lives are being impacted. So when you think of our job and our task in education today, it's to provide an exceptional education for students. And so these young people, look at them closely, because these young people are going to change the world. And they're going to change the world because a group of adults decided that instead of finding obstacles, we found solutions. Instead of finding reasons why we can't do things, we found reasons we can do things. Because we were focused on you, the 125 and all our students in Arlington, focused on you and your success. And so I remember it was a day in December. It seems like a long time ago, but it must not have been, because uh, it hasn't been that long, uh, where you had a celebration, uh, Chancellor, for your staff at UTA. And uh, you were using their, uh, uh, one of their facilities there. And we made an opportunity to go at the uh, student center and speak for just a moment about this possibility. And the answers were yes and yes and yes, we can do it. And Chancellor said, will your board support this? And I said, absolutely, the board will support it because this is the vision. This is our strategic plan. And so as we found those ways to break down those barriers, staff was a little nervous, actually a lot nervous, but as we found ways to, to break down those barriers, it became a reality. And so today, I thank you so much for partnering with us, for joining us. And don't let this be the last time that you come to this facility. Certainly don't be the last time that you partner with AISD, because we've got deals for you, every one of you, <laughs> every one of you in the interest of students, right? And so I want to just take a moment, uh, senior staff, AISD senior staff, and directors, etc., would you just wave? Thank you so much for your work. Thank you so much for your work. And so today, I, I again thank you for joining us, but more importantly, thank you for joining us in a vision that we know will transform not only Arlington, but our state and our nation. And as we continue our work in Arlington ISD, this is just the beginning of future opportunities. Thank you so much.
Good afternoon. Um, this even, this day, today I'm here. Bowie cannot be here on occasion when you work for a voluntary board. On rare occasion, Mr. Hall can't be with us, but I want to tell you and share with you that he extends his very best wishes and his excitement for this project. And what a beautiful day in the neighborhood. What a very beautiful day. We spend a lot of time on boards talking about some days. What will happen someday if we can put this together? What will happen someday if? What would our community look like? What would our state look like? Indeed, what our world would look like if someday. But the someday is today, and it's a reason to celebrate. And I tell you, I am the very proud and humble member of a very productive school board. The ASD school board is um, uh, very interested in collaboration. We started this journey as a team of eight, a very... Um, connected and unified team of eight and I think that you all know what an outstanding superintendent that we have and we are so very proud because Dr. Cavazos you're a game changer for this community but we started as a team of eight but then visions started coming together the vision of the AISD and the vision of TCC were perfectly aligned and expanding so that more students could be served so we become part of a larger whole our vision is also aligned with UTA so the vision of AISD, TCC, UTA. So as we started as a member, a group, a team of eight, we have become part of a member of a much larger group, a much larger collaborative board, if you will. And I am very, very proud to serve. And you know, you go back to just different an anecdotes over time, and I think of a day in 2013. And you know, just sometimes a day really strikes you. I was at Crouch Elementary School. And I was reading to a class, and fourth grade, nine-year-old nine girl came up to me, and she wants to um, be an apple geek, she said. That's what I want to be when I grow up. And I was, we sat down and talked about that, and she said, but that involves college. And Chancellor, I can't tell you how excited I was to tell her about the opportunities that would be available, because I knew that the dedication and the drive of this community would make sure that this girl would have this opportunity. And you know, as kids do, they ask you the simple questions, and we have a lot to learn from them, really, because you said, how? How do you know? How do you know that I can go because my family hasn't gone to college uh, and I know that I'd have to go to college to be an Apple geek? And I didn't think she was really interested in a long conversation about public partnerships, as riveting as it is. <laughs> so, so, but I was able to share with her the depth of not only the commitment of our team of eight, but this entire room to make sure that she would be able to go. And uh, some weeks later, she wrote a note that I, I keep. It's one of those things you that just resonated with me that uh, I thank you note that she goes, now I know I can. And I know that she knows that she can because you have set the path for her. Together we have set the path for her and many, many other students like her. And we look forward to not only this collaboration, but many more. And I'm so very proud that when we set out to do a project, we none of us settle for average. We are shooting much higher, and I'm very proud of that, not only for uh, what it does, as Dr. Gavassos often says, for the adults in the system, but what it does for the students. So thank you very much. Thank you very much, TCC Board. I know I was uh, there the evening that you had the vote to uh, decide whether or not to invest a tremendous amount of money to build this and I thank you then and I thank you now I would like to share uh, with a larger group that without a question you open doors for students both literally and figuratively and it's a game changer thank you very much for your partnership what I want to do now is introduce oh, God, let me just tell you the story correct Dr. Cavazos when we sat at the, we were in UTA sitting around a table talking about the possibilities. It was yes, yes, yes from these two. It was the, the vice chancellors and I were going, no, 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 you know. But we knew that yes, yes, yes can happen. And so we're here for yes, yes. Anyone who works with them knows how that works. Um, at this time, uh, somebody that I've got to, got to know in the last, uh, in the last year um, is Mr. Ben Bolin, uh, Dr. Ben Bolin, the principal of the Early College High School. And I would ask for him to come up and just please and say a few words. I want to introduce the staff here at uh, this wonderful campus. And um, just like we've talked to the students when they were here, and some of you may not know, we had them here earlier for a five-day camp, and it was fantastic. So 
um, we got to talk a, about a lot of different things. And we've talked, as the chancellor was mentioning, of, of all the students that applied, um, how this group was selected. And it was the same with teachers. Um, and I think some of them will tell you now when they go to meetings, the looks that they get when they say where they work, it's like, oh, how'd you get over there? That kind of thing. So I am very fortunate to have this group to have the opportunity first to be in this position and then have the opportunity to select this staff myself. Um, it's been quite an honor to do that, and I have some outstanding people here working with me. So I want to introduce them first. So over here on the end, uh, next to Toro is Officer Jenkins. He's our security guard. I actually hired Officer Jenkins back in the day at a different campus and uh, came full circle and he somehow wanted to come back and work with me again. So we're really lucky to have him. Um, Miss Lori Leverton is our counselor. Miss Joanna Sosa England is our secretary, amongst other things, in the, in the building. And our teachers here, Miss Jennifer Fuller is English. Nikki Condra is science. Our health assistant here is Miss Susan Thomas. One of our other English teachers, Miss Julia Burke. Math teacher, Gerald Gonzalez. Social studies teacher, Ms. Nancy Rushing. And our business teacher, Mr. Keith Sims. So I bring them up here for a reason. It's, we've talked to the kids, and we were lucky to have the opportunity to do this. And we talked about a lot of different things. And one of those was a support piece. And a lot of that we've talked about is going to come from these people right here. Um, I'm lucky because I get to spend every day with these students um, and I'm gonna get to do that all year they're even luckier because they get to be in the classroom there with them they're gonna get to see them let the light bulbs go off and extend their learning and they're gonna be collaborating with the TCC professors and uh, helping to bridge the gaps there between k-12 and higher ed so um, I'm excited to have them and like I told the students they're going to have unending support, and I hope they're seeing that from here today. And Dr. Cavazos talked about the conversations in December, and for me it's kind of hard to believe that we're actually here and ready to start on Monday because I can think back about all the meetings and discussions and, um, you know, give and take between two organizations and then uh, working through the process of hiring staff and then what it's going to take to select the students, how we're going to do that. And I'm just ready to get started on Monday with these kids. So uh, I can't believe that's actually here. And I wanted to thank both boards uh, again for your vision. Um, and when the students know this, when we came to present to them, I showed them pictures of the building and it was the foundation. And we had artist drawings. So they didn't even know if there was actually a building there. And I told them, well, it's not there, but it will be. They didn't know what to expect or what the courses would be like or anything like that, but I told them, well, this is what it would be. And through all of that, they had the courage to apply to be a part of this. That's a pretty powerful statement for them. And so uh, I think the reality f uh, for them is starting to set in of what the opportunities are, because we've mentioned that word opportunities, opportunities. And I'm jealous of them because this is something I wish I had back when I was in eighth grade. Um, but they have so many things that they can take advantage of and I think that they're starting to see how big of a deal that this is and so um, we're really looking forward to getting started and Chancellor I wanted to tell you one thing I know that in a leadership position such as yourself you always have things on your mind and you might be worried about this happening or something else happening over here with all these campuses but uh, your leadership team um, Dr. Coppola and Mike Sanadel, the vice presidents and the deans have been outstanding. So I wanted to say that's one group that I, I think that you could kind of turn things over to and they'll take care of it because they've been outstanding throughout this process. So thank you. I also want to mention from the district whenever this came forth and the board wanted to pursue this, there was an early college high school committee formed. 
and some of those representatives are here today and if I forget anyone I apologize but I see Nell Fielding who's the director of counseling back here uh, Marlene Roddy the principal at Martin High School uh, Sylvia Nichols I saw her come in she's a director of grants Sylvia and I think was Julie Porter here Okay, I thought I saw her come in, but there were several others. And so they went to meetings. They visited other early college high schools. They put together the uh, agreements, and they worked behind the scenes uh, before I ever came on board. And uh, they gave up all of their time to make sure that this was going to be the best early college high school. And I've heard that a few times uh, by someone that this has to be the best early college high school. And it started out, I think, in the community, and then it started out to be the state. And I think it's extended to the world at this point, All right? So um, the groundwork's there, as you can see from this outstanding campus. And um, you know, the students here, like as mentioned before, we, we want to make sure that we have students who need us the most. And so th those are the students we're looking for. And without us, we view it as without us, they may not consider college an option. And I got the uh, good fortune of being able to interview them one-on-one, -on -one, a lot of them and their parents and talking about what they've been through. All of them have a story. And so one day, their story in four years is gonna be that they were the first group in Arlington to get their associate's degree and their high school diploma at the same time. <clears throat> so throughout our camp, like I mentioned, we, we talked about several things, trying to prepare them for what college is like and there are gonna be new challenges that they encounter. I got the opportunity for, to meet with some of the TCC instructors that came over the other day and talk to them about our students and their backgrounds and their expectations. And so I view myself as being very fortunate to be able to stand in the gap and kind of work with both, both entities and to, to make this a success. So we're looking forward to it. And our students, we talked about having lion pride. So just in case you don't know, they got to vote on the colors. They picked navy, turquoise, and white. And they picked the mascot. It's the lions. So we've been talking about what it means to have lion pride. And they're going to establish that. They're going to create that. They're going to create the cultures, the traditions. And uh, they have a unique opportunity uh, unlike anyone else. So we're really looking forward to st uh, starting on Monday. I want to thank all of you for coming out to show your support uh, at this busy time of the year. And again, students, you know, thank you for coming out today. But one day, you know, it's hard at, at their age level to start thinking about really what this means. But I think that's starting to sink in for them. And we had an activity, a group activity, and talking about their hopes and fears. And a lot of them are fearful that they're not going to make it. Okay? But as you can see, you've got the support not only of the campus, but the district and the community. We're behind you, and you're going to do it. So... Thank you for coming out and I appreciate the time. Thanks. We've talked about this wonderful, wonderful partnership. And I failed to mention as I was standing up here, and Dr. Cavazos failed to mention as he was standing up here. Dr. B got it, but Dr. Cabar is sitting there just salivating almost at the mouth, waiting until he gets his hands on these students. Uh, not just these, but many others that we send from Tarrant County College. And, He's been such a great partner since he's been here, picked up the tradition that we were accustomed to having with Dr. Spaniola and working so closely because as much as we pride ourselves in what we do in getting our students to graduation, we take even additional pride when they go on to a university to get a baccalaureate degree and perhaps a master's and perhaps a doctorate. Dr. Kavari is very bu busy building a um, university that is called Tier 1. He's very busy building a Tier 1 university, and that includes a lot of different things. But the one thing that he hasn't forgotten is that UTA is also there to serve many more students than just the research students. So I thought it was appropriate to call him to the stage since he's salivating, so thinking about these students. And come on up, Dr. Kabari and let him say a word because he is also a great partner for us and we appreciate the ease of transition that we have between Tarrant County College District and UTA and of course we also have a memorandum of understanding 
with Arlington ISD, Mansfield ISD, Tarrant County College, and UTA. So we welcome you to the stage as an official partner with all of us. Come on up. Yes, I am salivating. <laughs> uh, but let me start off by repeating something that the superintendent had said many times. Uh, there is no doubt that education is the great equalizer. But that's really not possible without very strong partnerships. And so let me start out by actually thanking those who have made this partnership possible. Having an early college high school is just a tremendous addition for our entire community. I know that everyone has thanked boards and everyone else, so I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to try to address the students. When we have people such as me who have gray hair, we talk about students who are part of the future, but you're not. You're part of the present. You're the ones who motivate what we do every day. And so take pride in what you have done. Were it not for you, were it not for what you have actually demanded, were it not for all the stuff that you want every day, we wouldn't be sitting over here today trying to talk about an early college high school. Were it not for you, we wouldn't have a great university like the University of Texas at Arlington. And yes, I hope that every one of you will come to UTA and every one of you will not only get a degree from this wonderful school and the early college high school, but that two years later, you will actually be the first students to get a bachelor's degree in that short period of time. So we are looking to you to really set the stage for the future, not just for your batch, but for this entire community because we're doing something that is absolutely new. Early college high schools have taken place before, but it's rare to have that close partnership between every member of that team and have the partnership between the city and with the university. So when we talk about pre-K through gray, that's happening over here. And so thank you very much about that. Okay, at this time, I'd like to um, introduce Mr. Jim Minji, who is going to introduce a wonderful gift for us. You know, at Texas Trust Credit Union, we get up every day, and our mission is to build brighter financial futures. That's what we try and do every single day. And we know that education is a critical component of that. So we have a passion for these partnerships, and we have several in the room that we have partnered with, and we really appreciate that. Um, I'd just like to take one second to talk to the students. Um, I stand before you today, the CEO of a mid-sized company who has succeeded beyond his wildest expectations and who is a product of the San Antonio Community College System, a proud graduate. So you guys are way ahead of me because you're going to graduate from high school and, and have your associate's degree all at the same time. And that's just such a wonderful thing. And I hope that as you go through this process, you, as I did, are inspired to be a lifelong learner. And you learn some things about being a great leader and about bringing passion and energy and enthusiasm to what you do. And if you do that, I guarantee you, you will also be successful beyond your wildest dreams. And, uh, you know, I'm here to, to be the money man and to make a big announcement for scholarships for these wonderful kids. But I would be remiss if I didn't mention the fact that Dr. Cavazos is one of the best negotiators I have ever encountered. We sat in a room talking about money, and he said, you know, what I have a vision for is that this first class of students, it's going to be, you know, it might be tough to get these students because they have to give up their high school experience, and I want to be able to give them something tangible, and you can help me with that. And I made a terrible mistake. I said, Dr. Cavazos, what would tangible be? And he sat back with a big smile on his face, and he said, I think each of these kids needs a $1,000 scholarship so that when they finish with this early college high school and get their associate's degree, they can go on and be successful and uh, get a great start to that second part of their education. And, uh, you know, he had such passion and enthusiasm that it was infectious, and I was just crazy enough to take it to our board, and our board uh, didn't kick me out of the room and said yes. So uh, we are so honored to be able to do that, and I hope there are other companies in the greater Arlington area that will do that for future classes of these students. Uh, with that, we're making the big announcement, $1,000 each. They have the big check. I'm going to go back and get my picture made. Uh, Dr. Cavazos, Dr. Coppola. And uh, Dr. Bolin, if you'd join me, really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. 
Students. 50 years ago, this July 2nd, President Johnson signed into legislation the Civil Rights Act of 1964. The struggle that took place in the mid-1960s was not only about equality, but also about access to all that this country has to offer, including higher education. In 1965, Tarrant County Junior College was established by the Board of Trustees to offer this opportunity of access and affordability to quality education to all who wish to have it. And soon after, community colleges popped up all over the country to deliver higher education to the citizens of this country. For this reason, the community college is often referred to as America's Democracy College. The early college high school is the next evolution in the democratization of higher education. Your parents never had this opportunity. Your older siblings did not have this opportunity, but you do. And when you all have children, and you will, I know you're looking at yourselves now, but you're all gonna have children, that are your age, a program such as this will be the norm in education. And you are leaders embarking on a new frontier. So as with any opportunity that you have, take advantage of it, ask questions, get engaged. We are all here to assure you that you will succeed. I know that Dr. Boland asked you all, what was your biggest fear? And many of you said the fear of failing. Let me give you a quote by Ralph Waldo Emerson. Our greatest glory is not in never failing, but rising every time we fail. So as we cut the ribbon to open the doors today, we ask you to open your minds. I'm gonna... <laughs> Sorry, I got applause for myself there. <laughs> so <I was> like... <laughs> That kind of comes to you at night, no. But before we move outside, I want to thank Katrina Warner and her students for the wonderful buffet that's set up, and please take advantage of it. And also Dr. Greg Dewhurst and his students for the music. So at this time, yeah, he's gonna come back. So at this time, I would like to invite our dignitaries who will participate in the ribbon cutting to join me outside and to all our guests who would like to witness the event. We will then reconvene back inside for refreshments and a tour of our beautiful facilities. I want to thank you again for coming out today and thank you everybody for your support. Congratulations. <laughs>